Welcome to Tasmania, the beautiful island state at the bottom of Australia. We invite you to come and experience our special way of life as you prepare for the biggest event on the global sporting stage, the FIFA Women's World Cup for 2023. With a population of 540,000 people, Tasmania, or Tassie as the locals call it, might be Australia's smallest state, but it enjoys a huge passion for football. buzz around the football community. We've got the most participants we've had in about six years. Um, we've got just under 30% female participation, which is actually the highest proportion of anywhere in Australia. So we're really proud of that. This excitement includes spending millions of dollars to revamp and improve some of Tasmania's best football pitches to ensure they are chosen as team base camps for the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. Oh, it would be so amazing. So like, so not to get games in Tasmania is really disappointing because we are such a beautiful state. Um, but if a country were to base here and we'd have that atmosphere and that energy, it would just be everything for, for female football in Tasmania, for sure. Um, not, o not only Australia-wide. Our government is investing 10 million to upgrade football facilities right across this state. This work, which has already commenced, will ensure these facilities will provide everything that a visiting team will need. Thanks to this investment by the state government, we can offer four base camp sites throughout Tasmania. The facilities at them are second to none and offer significant advantages over other sites around mainland Australia. We've got facilities in the northwest, the north and the south of the state, each of which has their own airport, uh, which has charter capacity. Uh, really good hotels in those sites, um, venues in close proximity to the hotels and also close to the airport and really easy to get around for our visiting teams and good privacy as well which we know is important for these teams. If you're in Europe and you look at Australia it's one big desert with Tasmania as the temperate part down the bottom. It's safe, it's got great facilities, we've got airports that can cope with the number of charter flights that are likely to be coming in and out. We've got a welcoming community. We've got a supportive state government. It's going to be so easy for these teams to, to feel at home here, which of course is really what they want to be doing uh, while they're competing in the, in the world's biggest tournament for female footballers. Launceston United FC is Tasmania's largest club and its home pitch at Birch Avenue offers a range of advantages as a base camp. We're very excited. We've recently received uh, state government funding to carry out some major renovations here. We've got uh, pitch upgrade, drainage, new lighting, uh, new change rooms and new spectator seating. So we're really excited about that and work is going to start right now. Found in Launceston, a vibrant city of 80,000 people with an airport close by and a huge range of accommodation. Launceston is also home to York Park, a large stadium which is capable of hosting pre-tournament matches. There's lots of reasons why Launceston would be perfect to be a base camp for the World Cup. Not least of which, if we look to see all these great young women running around here today, it's important for them to have that ro those role models and to see that there are pathways for them. So I think that's really important. But for visiting teams, there's so much here that is great to see and do. It's a city with a lot of character. It's a city that has heritage. We've got the beautiful buildings around our city. It's a really great place that you can come. And our people are very friendly, welcoming, and it's an extremely safe place to be and to come and enjoy. It would be absolutely fantastic if we could have one of the teams based here. The facility has two access roads, but we're also away from the street, so it's great privacy for the teams. We're also only five minutes from the city centre, where there are a number of options for top quality hotels, a regional aquatic centre and regional fit fitness centre. We're also only 15 minutes from the Launceston Airport, which now has direct flights to every state in Australia. 